calling all my truck loving friends. This truck is turned out so cute and let me show you how I did it. This wooden truck is from Dollar General and it comes with this little stand that you can put on to display the truck. Uh, to paint the truck, I am using just some black acrylic paint. I gave it two coats of the black paint. Now, initially I did not paint the hearts, but once I started working with my scrapbook paper, I figured out I wanted to add that. And so I go back and I paint the truck and the hearts all black because that's going to be my base coat and then I'm going to be doing some shading on my truck just to give it some white shading and then for the hearts what I did is I just took uh, one of the uh, like a just a for a template I just went through my stash and pulled out a heart that was kind of the right size and then I just picked out different coordinating red and black uh, scrapbook paper everything came from Hobby Lobby of course my favorite store and uh, I just you know took my time and I just kind of uh, traced out the heart patterns and so that is what I'm going to do I'm going to use the heat transfer Mod Podge method like I did earlier and that you've seen me do before I love attaching scrapbook paper to my bases this way and I hope that you find it helpful as well and I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? To add some white shading to my truck, what I am using is a quarter inch flat paintbrush. I dip half of my brush in white acrylic paint and the other half in clean water and then I blend on a paper towel and then I go around the edges of my paint it projects this is how I shade my projects and uh, I just blend on a paper towel I like to use the shop towels that you can get in the automotive section of any store I just uh, they're a little bit thicker and I like them for my uh, when I paint my projects and use in my craft room together if I could stop the time don't you know that I would cuz I'm just loving this moment can we stay here I'll go back and add a bit more heavier uh, shading and highlight to the fenders uh, because I want them to be a bit more defined. Looking with you, everything's complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on. On this truck for the white walls of the tires I am just going around the small cutout heart there's a little bit of attachment to uh, you know that has a little bit more space for the heart that kind of makes this look like the white wall of the tire and it blends everything together to adhere the hearts I was going to use the heat transfer mod podge method but it didn't work I'm showing you you know I I did it but they didn't stick and I don't know for whatever reason so ended up later on in the video I go back and I use my Fabri-Tac glue uh, to adhere all of these hearts down onto the back of the truck now uh like the hearts I didn't trim off the part where you know it kind of hung over because I thought oh I'll get that off with my uh, my little knife my utility knife and that didn't work either that stuck down I even tried my uh, nail file to file it off so uh, it was no problem because I used some rickrack ribbon to hide it and everything worked out just fine what I'm showing here is I'm just going around the edges uh, and just adding some 
shimmering silver metallic paint around the white walls of the tires uh, and just to enhance the doorknob as well as the front and back bumpers and the headlights. For any paint that uh, I got a little too thick or I covered up something, I'm taking my very thin, very loved Missing Some Bristles brush because it's very thin and I go back and dip it into white paint so that I can clean up any of the, like if I got the silver a little bit too much on the white. And I left this in to share that, you know, when you paint, accidents are going to happen or things are going to happen and you just kind of figure out how to fix those kind of mistakes as you go along and like I like to encourage people who want to learn how to paint it's just paint just you know just do it and I just love seeing all of your creations God has given me these gifts and talents to share with you and I am so grateful and blessed that so many friends are uh, liking this style of painting and want to learn more to do it and so I want to encourage you to do it okay so just using that same brush I'm just going around and just adding some details to the truck the beauty is in the details you will hear me say that and so I do that just by adding just some lines they're not straight they're kind of cattywampus and it just really just brings the truck to life now I'm going to add some splattering and uh, I really like this look. It's what I do. I protect my, uh, you know, table because it is a little messy. Here I'm showing you, uh, I had put just some highlights in the red hearts as well as the black hearts. I just put some swooshes in there. Okay, this I have just a white paint pen and uh, on for the door, I didn't get this on film, but what I did is I just put uh, some shading, just like a rectangle, just to give it where it looked like a sign for the door and I'm just hand lettering I'm Love Express. I put your favorite song on just to wake you up. When I dance around, I can't help this is the spray varnish that I used for my truck. So just sharing this and I got that at Michael's. Okay, then now I am just pulling out a few of the uh, pink, red, and gold picks that I got from Dollar Tree. Just pulled them off. They came right off the stick. And uh, there are some like heart cutouts in this uh, truck that I did not want to use. So I'm just covering those holes up with these wooden hearts from the Dollar Tree. And then I will take a couple of red shimmery sparkly stickers and just put them on the hearts that are on the truck. You don't know I'm looking with you everything's complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on just to wake you up when I this cute Rick Rack is from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to freeze frame screen so you can screenshot that if you want to see if it's still available. I've had it for many years, so I'm not quite sure if it is. But this red with the uh, white polka dots is so cute. And so what I did is I just put, uh, just using my Fabri-Tac glue, I just put it on the edge where the hearts meet the truck and that uh, mistake with the paper and all of that was kind of hidden behind this cute rickrack. You know me, I need to add a little bit more sparkle. So I have this red stickles, which is glitter glue. And uh, I find that at the uh, craft store in the scrapbooking section. And so I'm just going around the heart on the hubcap. And then I'm just going to go around the Love Express sign just to give a bit of glitter and dimension and just make those areas uh, pop. I decided not to have this truck put on a stand. I am going to make a sign out of this, probably for a wreath. And so I like to use these 10 inch circles that I pick up from Hobby Lobby. Also this black and white Buffalo check paper is from that paper pad. I am going to use the Mod Podge method, uh, iron that on. And so I just put, you know, a good coat of Mod Podge on this circle. I let that dry, or actually I heat, used my heat tool to dry that. 
And uh, then I'm going to, uh, you know, cut out the circle. And then I did put the Mod Podge, attach it, adhere it to the circle using the heat transfer method. I added some doodling around the circle with my uh, fine Sharpie marker. And then I uh, put two strips of that same red uh, and white polka dotted rick rack, one at the top and one at the bottom, and then I'm going to put the truck in the middle. Oh, I'm looking, and I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up, and we just. I like to lift up my wooden projects for my signs and I do it with different things. Uh, I usually like to use the tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree, but uh, I had this very thick fun foam on hand. I think I got this, you know, at Hobby Lobby a few years ago, but you can get fun foam at different places. I just cut different, uh, like, you know, uh, different shapes just so that I could fit it underneath this little truck. And then I'm going to glue everything down in the middle of the sign. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up and we just sing along. And I can't help but feeling just loving. I could say 